Welcome back. With Kyle and Experience Fitness here, we have health on the brain. So maintaining our heart health is a goal for so many of us. So let's get a few reminders from a St. Luke's cardiologist in this recurring and re-airing of the segment of uh, Your Health Live. Joining us today is Dr. Greg Wilson, a cardiologist from Geisinger St. Luke's. Welcome to PA Live, doctor. Well, good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Now, I understand you're affiliated with Geisinger St. Luke's in Oregsburg. Can you talk to us a little bit about what you do there, what types of patients you see and you treat? Absolutely. So I'm a, a cardiologist with Geisinger. I see patients both at Geisinger St. Luke's Hospital uh, as well as at the Geisinger Multi-Specialty Office, which is right here on campus. And I, I treat a wide array of cardiac conditions, which includes things like coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, rhythm abnormalities of all kinds, uh, and valvular heart disease, just to mention a few. Uh, we really do try to provide a comprehensive cardiac uh, care right here in Orwicksburg. Now, you know, doctor, we just entered a new year. We're at the start of 2022. It's still a little tricky for me to say. <laughs> um, I understand you have some ideas for, for, for me and, and the viewers about some New Year's resolutions to help us get or maybe even stay heart healthy. Absolutely. I have three, three heart healthy tips. I mean, this is the time of year when everyone's really trying to get back on the healthy uh, habit wagon, and, and maybe we've all overindulged a little bit. So three tips. One, start small. You know, set yourself up for success by, by gradually introducing some of these heart-healthy habits into your routine. Take a five-minute walk. Maybe instead of scrolling through social media, you can do something like take a five-minute walk outside or do that in between tasks. Another would be play with it. play with your pet. If you've got a pet, they make great exercise companions. Again, something simple that doesn't involve or that's real complicated, because what we're asking is really you don't have to buy expensive equipment. You don't have to join gyms with big memberships. You know, you try to start small and work your way up from there. So that's that's number one. Number two, plan ahead. If we don't schedule these kinds of healthy activities in our schedule, it's it's unlikely. It's less likely that they're going to get done. Um, so work on realistic plans. Uh, designed for the long term. You know, everybody comes out of the gate with um, with excellent intentions, but you know, in a couple of weeks, it gets tough with our schedules being what they are to continue. So, you know, anticipate some of the pitfalls or barriers that there might be to uh, perpetuating these plans or continuing them in the long term. Can make make plans on how you're going to try to combat those and stick with what goals you you set. That's number two. So, plan ahead is number two, and number three. Know your numbers. All of us should at some point get together with our uh, providers of health care. And we really want those people to make the most of their visits by having a few key pieces of information. Numbers such as your blood pressure, knowing what your blood pressure should be and what their goals are, um, your cholesterol value. Same thing, you know, depending on different health backgrounds, you maybe have different goals, but you should at least have blood pressure, or um, excuse me, have your cholesterol numbers in mind at some point. If you're diabetic, an important number is your hemoglobin A1C for controlling your blood sugar. And finally, your medications, particularly the doses. You know, don't trust that everything in the medical record is always up to date, depending if you've been in different hospitals or different providers' offices. It always helps to bring your medications along with the visit so that we really have a good sense of what you're taking. So those would be my three heart healthy tips to start 2022. Absolutely. All such wonderful, uh, you know, things for all of us to think about and maybe even continue doing, maybe doing for the first time. Anything else you'd like to share with the viewers before we, uh, we end? I would say, you know, give yourself a break. You know, again, we all come with the wonderful intentions that this is going to be a year that we get it all done. But sometimes when we set ourselves up with, with high expectations, we feel frustrated when we don't reach our goals and it's easy to quit or throw in the towel. Give yourself a break. No one is perfect. Take time for yourself, you know, especially with everything happening uh, these days. And always don't be afraid to ask for help when needed. Absolutely. And to continue this conversation, our viewers can go to sluhn.org. Doctor, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me.